Good afternoon, everybody. This is Santero Balogun coming with another video. I wanted to do a video today to talk about Orisha Ogun. Orisha Ogun. Ogun is my father. And I wanted to show here the illustration of who he is as the spirit of iron. Ogum is the iron worker, the blacksmith who creates the iron implements to protect us as this gate is protecting his home. And then as we go here in this park area uh, in Wicker Park where I live, there is a park that has these structures of this iron railing that's holding up this wall. And that's Ogum. Ogum is strong enough to support us. He is the protector of the people here on the planet. He is a warrior spirit. And as you see this iron railing that is giving stability to this wall, but it's also a catalyst for support for the wall. That's what Ogum is for us in our lives. He supports us through the things that we go through in life. He provides help to us so that we have what we need in life. He gives us our foundation and our anchor. He's the power to hold us up. And so, as I'm walking around today, I just wanted to give illustration about the spirit of iron, Orisha Ogun, and talk about who my father is and give just more illustration of who he is to me. And I look here because around my house there is this railroad track and it's ironic enough that Ogun being the spirit of iron, he's strong enough to be the iron that supports the train that rides up on the iron. So not only is the train made of metal and iron, and those implements, the foundation of the train tracks is strong enough to support that iron. That's how powerful Ogun is. And so I came out and I just wanted to uh, say a prayer to him and honor him for who he is in my life. Because, you know, if you have deities that have natural domains, you should be going out to where they are and honor them. Not just always asking for things, but praying to them and thanking them for who they are. So I just wanted to pray, light a candle, and look here, look how strong this iron is, this metal is, this steel is, that it is powerful enough to support the train that rides upon it with all the people in it. That's the power of who Ogum, Orisha Ogum is. So I'm just here on this beautiful day in my neighborhood walking around and I'm just making sure that I honor Ogum. I'm looking at the wonder of who he is, knowing who he is in my life as the spirit of honor, who he is in my life as the one that helps me and it aids me to know him in this way. It aids me to honor him and come to his domain and respect him and give offerings and, and to thank him for who he is. Like I said, Ogum is the deity who protects mankind, fights for mankind, but is strong enough to give you support in your life. And after I finished being out, I came back home and I just wanted to uh, honor Ogum and give Ogum offerings to say thank you for being in my life and, and to make my special request to the spirit of iron for who he is to me. And I want to say for those that are initiated, those that have received their warriors and you have your, your cauldron to work with Ogum, you already know that's a, a source of power. That's a source of getting the things in your life to help you. But not just to get what you want that's external. 
but to receive what you need that's internal. If you need to help yourself with your character, if you find that you have fear in your life, if you find that you are a person that needs employment, Ogun is that deity that works hard for mankind. He has the implements and the tools to work hard for you. But the benefit of Ogun being in your life is that you work hard for him by going to him, working in his implements, working with him so that he can help provide for you. Not being lazy, going out, it's just the old additive that if you need a job, you're not going to sit at home and wait for the job to come to you. You can work with spirit all day long, but you won't receive until you get up and do. If you put that foot of faith forward in work, Ogun will come sevenfold to return to you what you need in your life. So he is the spirit that works hard for us. He is a warrior spirit. He fights for us on the planet. He fights on every level and in every level where he applies himself to fight, he only fights to win. So only call upon him if you truly need him to help you with life. Some of the things that we go through in life, we don't always need to light a candle and do a work in and work with spirit. Sometimes we need to modify what we do. Or we need to be man and woman enough so that we can say, it's just somebody being stupid. It's just somebody being jealous. It's just somebody until they put their hands on me, until they um, interfere with my life in a way that it affects my bosses, a uh, way that they look at me or that it re reflects in my relationships, then I need to call upon spirit. But sometimes we just need to put our big boy and big girl pants on and go on with our lives and let people know that we're unbothered by the things that they try to do. And that's another aspect of who Ogum is. Ogum helps us so that we see things that we used to see as big problems, we see them as little things, and we're able to move forward in life. Ogum also is that spirit that provides employment. He helps us so that we can keep our jobs. He helps us so that we can continue to have business. We can continue to have what we need in life. He is the clearer of paths. He removes obstacles for us so that we can have an open road. So whatever then, whatever it is that you are trying to find your manifestation in, He's the clearer of path. You can go to him so that he can clear the path for you. But in that, we have to work with spirit. As I always say, you have to use divination and work with spirit so that we can ask Ogo, where should I put my work? Where should I be asking you to help me? I don't want you clearing the path on this street. And I'm not even over there thinking that you're clearing the path on the left when you're truly on the right. So I wanted to do this video just to talk about Ogum and to honor him. I'm going to be doing more about the Orisha Ogum. And I say this again, if you are not initiated to Ogum, if you are not a person who has received your warriors, read as much as you can about the Spirit of Iron. Don't just start calling upon him and working with him if you haven't the knowledge, if you haven't studied, if you haven't Make sure if you're a petition in any spirit, you know about them, just like you would if you were asking for one of your friends. Okay? I change.